hi everyone so i come back with another tutorial this is question seven from your tutorial sheet two uh msm one 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 so please kindly subscribe to my channel for those that have not yet subscribed to the channel so that you don't miss out the videos that i'm going to be uh sending all right so we quickly begin the question is telling us to sketch the graphs of each of the functions involving radicals on the same coordinate system as that of the root of uh, x and find the domain and the range so this one is very simple and straightforward it's a very simple question if not the simplest question in the tutorial sheet so the first question here is um, is uh, the root of 3 minus x 3 minus x so what you do is um, you first um, you first do what you first uh, equate what is in the brackets there yeah you equate what is in the brackets with uh, yeah you equate what is in the brackets to zero sorry so you say 3 minus x is equal to zero so you make x the subject of the formula you discover that your x is going to be three so at this point x is equal to three uh that's where we're going to have since we don't have anything this side we don't have any constant this side what we have is just a zero so meaning the point where our graph is going to start from is three comma zero so this is the starting point of our graph so we can we can quickly sketch the graph so it's going to be like this you don't forget to put your x you don't forget to put your y that side and then your starting point is zero so it's going to be at three comma zero one two three so this is our three two one and then zero yeah okay three comma zero and then so it's going to start from there now where does it go is it going to go this way is it going to go that way is it going to go that way or that way we don't know how can we know simple so look at the the coefficient of x the coefficient of x is negative so instead of it uh, going uh, this way yeah instead of it going uh, this way it's going to go the other way around so it's going to go this other way like that so that is how simple these questions are negative two negative one yeah it's going to go that way so i'm just doing this quick in a faster way but make sure that you include all the necessary uh uh all the necessary things for something to look as an x y plane yeah so that's it that is how it's going to come out yeah so let's quickly move on to the next question so our next question is saying we sketch the graph of uh we sketch the graph of two minus yeah so we're dealing with b now so our next question is 2 minus negative x minus 2 so this one is also straightforward so what do you do you first uh, equate what is in the brackets there negative x minus 2 to 0 so your value of x will be equal to negative 2 so meaning our starting point for our graph is going to be yeah, so our starting point for our graph is going to be negative 2 comma this 2. So it's going to be negative 2 comma, sorry, comma uh, 2. So this is our starting point. Now, how, where is it going to go? It's going to go uh, down there. Why? Because we have a negative outside the square and then we also have the negative inside the square there so we have two there so we have negative two comma two so this is the point where it's going to start from negative two comma two and then it's going to go where it's going to go down like that oh sorry 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 on this question i forgot to write the domain and the range yeah let me just okay the domain for the second question 
is going to be uh, we're going to start from where from the domain is going to start from negative 2 to negative infinity meaning uh, we're starting from negative infinity to negative 2 and then the range for this function is going to start from uh, positive I mean it's going to start from negative infinity as well to where to positive 2 kindly note the kind of brackets that I'm putting yeah so that is it so for this one the domain uh, since it was coming out like that so meaning the domain was supposed to be from uh, from negative infinity up to positive 2 was it 3 yeah up to positive 3 not 2 and then the range uh, the range was supposed to be from 0 yeah the range is supposed to be from 0 to positive infinity yeah so this is the range and that is the domain uh, even for this question that is the range and that is the domain so this part is for this one here okay so quickly move on to the next question please uh, today we should do a lot of questions all right so So what we do, we move on to the next question, which is this one. Yeah, so this question, when you look at it, you agree with me to say uh, that one, you can simplify it before you even start solving it. Yeah. So f of x is, so f of x is equal to the square root of x squared that one can be simplified to f of x is equal to x so f of x is equal to x so i didn't this is question c so f of x is equal to x the square root of x squared is x so meaning this is just a straight line it's just a straight line like that so yeah you just put some to my points there to show that it's a straight line and then the domain the domain will be from uh, the domain will be from zero to infinity and then the range will also be from so this one is supposed to be a square bracket and then the range will also be from zero to infinity okay so we move on to uh, the the other question there d so we move on to d so d here is saying negative 3 plus the root of 1 I mean plus the root of x plus 2 so negative 3 plus the root of x plus 2 is also a straightforward question there so you equate what is in the brackets there to 0 so x plus 2 is equal to 0 meaning your value of x is equal to negative 2 then your value of y is negative 3 so meaning the starting point will be negative 2 comma negative 3 and then how do you know where it's going it's going to go this way why because x there is positive so negative 2 comma negative 3 negative 2 comma we add another number there negative 3 so that point and then it's going to go where it's going to go that way so after doing that you now you now find the domain and the range so the domain is going to start from 
the domain meaning the set of inputs will start from uh, negative 3 this one is supposed to be a square bracket start from negative oh sorry start from negative 2 to infinity that is the range I mean the domain and then the range will start from the range will start from negative 3 up to infinity all right so we'll quickly move on to the next question which is this one so these questions are simple straightforward that's why i'm even solving them very fast they are simple and straightforward here okay. so we move on to the to that other question okay So this one we equate 2x minus 1 to 0. So our value of x is equal to 1 over 2 comma. So meaning the starting point will be 1 over 2 comma positive 3. And then x there is positive. So we have been told to sketch not to draw. If we have been told to draw, we would have drawn that... Uh, would have drawn that what's this would have drawn this uh a table of values but since we've been told to sketch hence we're just going to be sketching yeah so we have comma three so it's just this point comma we add another point there three so a half which is half of one there comma three this is our starting point then the value of x is positive there so meaning it's going to go that way okay it's going to go that way all right so uh so yeah it's going to go that way so what else should we talk about the domain and the range so the domain is just the set of inputs meaning we're starting from half this is one half up to positive infinity and then the range will be from 3 up to positive infinity start from the range will start from this point going up or if it's negative okay it depends with how your graph is going again and then the, the the what the domain starts from this one the range starts from that one the the domain starts from there so quickly move on to the last question okay the last question there is also simple and straightforward The last question is saying negative. So we get x minus half to zero. So the value of x there will still be half, and then the starting point will be then half comma negative one. So half comma negative one will be our starting point. Then since x is positive, then half comma negative one, which is this point. Since x is positive, which means that our graph is x is positive, and uh, the outside the square root there, there's also another negative there. So meaning our graph is going to be uh, our graph is going to be like that. It's going to come out like that. So the domain there, the domain will be from uh, half to positive infinity because that's where our curve is uh, leading us to. And then our range is going to be from, sorry, this one is supposed to be a square bracket. And then our range is going to be from negative 1 to uh, 
negative infinity so meaning we start with negative infinity up to negative one then you put the square bracket like that so that is how you basically uh, sketch the the the, what, the the graphs of these uh, questions they are simple and straightforward so um thank you very much for watching today's tutorial video kindly subscribe to my channel so that you don't miss out the the videos that i'm going to be sending yeah because uh, at some point i'll stop posting these videos in the telegram groups so what you need to do is to subscribe in advance so that whenever i post something you'll be able to view it on your own without uh, me uh, posting it in any group so subscribe so that you don't miss out all right see you in the next tutorial video shalom shalom